So today, we have two of Disney's biggest powerhouses going head to head. Hercules versus Maui. Who wins? Well, let's find out. So, after Zeus's son, Hercules, was born, Hades created this potion elixir that would strip Hercules of his Olympian god-like powers. But since he didn't drink every last drop, he retained his strength but lost his other godlike powers. Uh, he's strong enough to easily lift large stone columns, send a centaur flying with a running headbutt, to fight and beat several giant monsters, and to send Hades flying with a punch. He's tough enough to withstand attacks from all those giant monsters, being eaten alive by the Hydra, and to survive being in the River Styx, which is, which is said to be impossible unless you are a god. Even without his strength, he still survived several massive hits from the massive Cyclops Titan and still kept on fighting. And although he doesn't have any real speed feats, he was seen running at incredible speeds. Uh, after receiving extensive training from Phil, he became an expert fighter, swordsman, and archer. And finally, he's quite the tactician as well, as he was able to take down the Cyclops a titan without his godlike strength but just using rope to trip him as well but in the other corner maui centuries ago maui was a human just like us but he was thrown into the sea by his parents who didn't want him when he was a baby he was saved and raised by the gods who turned him into a demigod and gave him his magical fish hook being a demigod, he has several powers such as vast human strength, durability, and immortality. He's strong enough to just casually and effortlessly lift a boat with one hand like a dinner plate, to pull islands from the sea, to pull back the sun with a lasso, and to fight against giant monsters like Taka. He's durable enough to withstand a beating from Tamatoa and several attacks from Taka. Uh, and although his speed isn't really displayed, he's probably superhumanly fast and agile as well. Now, his magical fish hook is extremely strong and durable, being able to cut off the cause hand. But if it is hit with a big enough impact or force, it can crack and even break, becoming completely useless. But he is a skilled and experienced fighter with it nonetheless. It also allows him to shapeshift any, into any animal he wants with just a thought and instantaneously, most noticeably a hawk. He's also quite skilled, experienced, and smart while using it in a fight as well. So, who's stronger? Well, Hercules was able to easily lift these giant stone columns, send a centaur flying with a running headbutt, to fight and beat several large monsters, and to send Hades flying with a punch. But Maui is strong enough to fight against giant monsters as well, effortlessly lift a boat with one hand like a dinner plate, uh, to pull islands from the sea, and to pull back the sun with a lasso. It's hard to say who's stronger, because Hercules didn't do anything like pull islands from the sea or pull back the sun with a lasso. But he did much better in his fights against giant monsters. Like, he beat so many monsters so fast that he went from the town freak to the town hero in just a couple of days. While Maui was trashed by Tamatoa and he couldn't beat Taka by himself. I'ma just say they're fairly equal here. But Hercules is definitely more durable. Like, Maui withstood a beating from Tamatoa and the blast from his magical fish hook uh, breaking and attacks from the call, but Hercules survived a similar beating from the Cyclops without his godlike strength, meaning he was just a human basically taking all these massive hits and he kept on getting back up and kept on fighting. Not only that, but he also survived being in the river Styx, which only gods could do. He's definitely more durable in, than Maui. And since neither displayed any real speed, let's just say they're equal here too. So, Hercules is physically superior because of his durability. Hercules is also more skilled. Like, Maui has fought giant monsters for centuries, but he probably was just relying on his fish hook and other powers. But Hercules was actually trained by Phil extensively, 
and he became an expert hand-to-hand -hand combatant, swordsman, and archer. But Maui isn't out of the fight yet and has something Hercules doesn't, his magical fish hook. Not only is he skilled in using it as a blunt weapon, but it, it allows him to shapeshift into any animal he wants to as well and on a dime. He's also quite skilled and tactical in using this power while in a fight, like when he fought Daka. He turned into a hawk, flew right up to her face, turned into a giant well, which he then fell into the ocean, causing a ton of water to splash onto Daka, severely hurting her. This is something Hercules has never fought against and doesn't really have a counter for. Oh, except for his brute physical strength. Because there's no animal that Maui can turn into that Hercules can't physically overpower. I mean, a giant blue will? Maybe? But still not likely. And Maui didn't show that he could turn into any giant monsters or even dinosaurs for that matter of effect. And even if he could, Hercules could still beat him probably. He's that physically strong. So, who wins? <laughs> well, it's gotta be Hercules. He's tougher, he's more skilled, and he should be able to overcome uh, Maui's magical fish hook. Although Maui could win. Uh, if he used his magical fish hook effectively. But more times than not, at the end of the day, Hercules wins. Like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. And uh, hit the notification bell if you did enjoy and all that great stuff. Have a great day. Peace.